गुड मॉर्निंग माय सेल्फ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर कुशल कुमार एन खुरानी फ्रॉम चांगू काना ठाकुर आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल एंड टुडे वी विल बी सीइंग द सब्जेक्ट लॉजिस्टिक्स एंड सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट एंड वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वन कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक्स एंड सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट विच इज कस्टमर सर्विस की एलिमेंट्स ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक्स नाउ वॉट डू यू मीन बाय कस्टमर सर्विस एज यू नो वी ऑल आर कस्टमर्स वी आर बाइंग सो मेनी प्रोडक्ट्स डे इन डे आउट नाउ बाइंग प्रोडक्ट इज वन पार्ट एंड देन गेटिंग कस्टमर सर्विस इज सेकेंड पार्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स आर नाउ इजीली अवेलेबल एज यू वी नो दैट टूडेज मार्केट इज नॉट मोनोपोली इट इज परफेक्ट कॉम्पिटिशन मेनी सेलर्स आर सेलिंग सिमिलर प्रोडक्ट्स इन द मार्केट नाउ वॉट अ कस्टमर इज एक्सपेक्टिंग कस्टमर इज एक्सपेक्टिंग वॉट एक्स्ट्रा द कंपनी इज गिविंग टू द कस्टमर buying the product is there but what benefits customer is getting once the product is sold now for example when we are buying electronics we expect that the company should give a better customer service that is after sale service now after sale service can happen only product when the product is sold in the market but there is also customer service when the customer is buying the product or when the customer is just finding out information about the product so customer service is at all the stages till the customer is buying the product and using the product even after using the product if customer is having any problem the company should answer the customers queries now the next part we will see a uh, meaning of customer service see basically customer service uh, is provided to enhance the customer satisfaction level how any company can enhance the customer satisfaction level by giving something extra to the customer because every time when we have any problem with the product we go to the customer care or customer service and we as a customer are expecting that the company should address our problems immediately but nowadays you can see that customer care or customer service is not up to the mark only the companies which are successful they are successful because they are providing really good customer service to their customers ultimately we all know that customer is the king so if customer is not getting expected service customer will go to your competitor again i will repeat the same thing that today there is no monopoly in the market there is there are many sellers selling same products across the market across the country across the globe so customer if a customer is not satisfied with your product or with your service customer can any time jump to next company so you have to care, take care of the customer and customer service so it's a very delicate thing that you have to take care of the customer if one customer you are losing there are very high chances that that single customer may take next 10 prospective customers which we are expecting only because of one single customer now again introduction as we have seen that customer service basically it is a series of activities which is given by the company to the customer so most important part starts after the product is sold to the customer after selling the product customer is using the product and if the customer is facing any problem then the customer service will come into picture and if we are not providing good customer service then chances are very high it will have an impact on the bottom line of the company that is the profit and you know today's market customer is very fickle customer is very uh, variable customer keeps on changing so if i am not giving good service if i am not giving good quality of the product then customer will not stay with the same company in the long run now what are the objectives of customer service first is to ensure perfect order what do you mean by perfect order whatever a customer is ordering you have to deliver the same product to the customer at the same time and at the same price sometimes it happens that for example a customer is placing an order and the delivery date is say uh, on 10th of xyz month now if the product is not delivered on 10th and it is getting delayed then it will not satisfy this first condition of perfect order then if there are any changes in the price again customer may not accept the product third thing if there is any changes or variation in the type of the product customer is 
ordering product A and the company is delivering product B. Again, that will not fulfill perfect order. So this is very important for any company and also for any customer. Then to uh, second point is to improve customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction again, customer is a very variable factor. Customer is also a human being. Customer's behavior changes. So we have to take care of all these things and you have to keep satisfying the customer or customer's needs in future. Customer needs are changing. You cannot keep on selling the same product to the customer. You have to change the price. We need to change the packaging. We also have to give some benefits to the customer in the form of discounts or maybe cash back or some offers to our regular customer. Then to increase sales. Very important point. If sales are not going up, it will have an impact on the profit of the company. If there is no profit, money will not come in the company. Again, it will have an impact on the employment. The company may not recruit or may not pay salary to the existing employees or they may start removing the employees. So the focus is to improve sales. Now, how to improve sales by selling good quality products and after that providing better customer service to the customers. Then to retain existing customers. Again, one of the important objectives of customer service is to retain existing customers. If a customer is staying with you since last 10 years, 20 years, you have to retain that customer because one customer may take 10 customers or one customer may bring 10 new customers to the company because in marketing, word of mouth publicity plays very important role. You may go for print media, you may go for uh, advertisement through social media, but word of mouth publicity is very important for any company because the customer has already used the product and he will give a very good or first hand information about the service or the product of the company. So if the customer is happy, customer will promote the company's product to other customers. Then to improve market position, market position. Now how a company can improve market position again by providing better customer service, then uh, giving a delivery of the goods to the customer in uh, semi-urban or maybe rural areas where delivery is not possible or making the product available in remote areas. Now here, after the product is made available along with this, the company also has to provide customer service because not necessary that all the products are of good quality. There may be some technical problems which may come after the product is sold. So the customer should be able to reach out to the company. Now that is possible only if good customer service is available to the customer at their doorstep. Nowadays, we know everything is virtual online. At least the company should use all this technology where the customer can easily connect with the customer service and the customer service can solve their query. And uh, finally, to retain customer loyalty. Again, very important, a loyal customer can uh, take the company to the next level or the loyal customer may damage the image of the company. Okay, next one is uh, background. Again, customer delivery, destination and customer service. Now here we can see there are internal customer and external customer. Internal customer is uh, within the company where the goods are coming from the warehouse to the factory, then from factory they will go externally, that is they will go to the market. So while the goods are going to the market, there we will be using transportation, we will be using uh, distribution, we will be using material handling, all these techniques will be used. Then all these things are connected with customer service. So customer service plays a very important role in this case and the next part we will continue in the next lecture.